Hello, my name is Jessica Espinoza and I'm the Professional Learning Specialist for the Fine Arts Department here in Cobb County. And today we are going to be doing a visual art making lesson and connecting it to music. We're going to be using the picture book I See a Song by Eric Carl and looking closely at the lines and the patterns we see in his illustrations and how that relates to the music that we hear on the pages. I am really excited about this lesson. I love the book and I love the idea of uh, making art with you today. materials you'll need for this lesson include paper, crayons, scissors, glue, and if you have watercolors or paint, you're welcome to use them for the lesson, but it's definitely not required. Before we read the storybook, I See a Song by Eric Carle. I want you to be mindful of a few things. First off, I want you to look really closely at those illustrations. Notice the patterns, the shapes, and how they evolve and morph and change throughout the progression of the story. This is going to be an animated version of the read aloud. So it's going to be coming to life on the pages for us. Really notice the connection between the visual art that you see and the music that you hear. Think about how that music is making you feel and how that might be inspiring the art that Eric Carle is making in his book. Are you ready to read the book? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I see a song, I paint music, I hear color. I touch the rainbow and the deep spring in the ground. My music talks, my colors dance. Come, listen, and let your imagination see your own song.
Did you like the book? I love it. And what I love about Eric Carle as an illustrator is he takes a blank white page and he creates visually really appealing art because his art pops on this white, vast backdrop. So what we're going to be doing is uh, creating and assembling the shapes that are going to pop on that white backdrop. And we're going to create our own piece of art in the style of Eric Carle. And to do that, we're going to start out by using crayons to create lots and lots of lines. And in those lines that we're exper experimenting with and sketching out on the paper, be mindful of patterns because Eric Carle loves patterns. And the patterns will really inspire you as to what you're going to create and how the music is going to play into that. Eric Carle loves bright colors and patterns. So we are going to cover our entire page with patterns. Um, I'm going to start out with ex experimenting with my lines. So I'm going to start out with zigzag lines. And as we're doing this, notice I'm playing the music from the book because I'm hoping that that music inspires you as to what you want to create on your page. The music has patterns in it. There are moments in the song where the music, the rhythms repeat several times. There are moments where, I'm gonna do a swirly line now, let's see, softer line. There are moments where the music gets really loud, it gets, the volume um, gets much louder, quieter, the tempo might speed up or slow down, and a lot of times that happens in patterns. So listen for that as we sit and listen to this music. I'm just having fun exploring lines. I'm doing dashed lines, I'm doing zigzag lines, I'm doing bumpy lines. And I'm really trying to cover as much of the white as I can because remember our backdrop is white. So we want our, our colors that we're going to cut out to really pop and be really, really bright. Okay? And it doesn't have to be of anything in particular. The patterns are really just shapes, lines, um, and somewhat abstract, it can be geometric, whatever you're feeling inspired to create today, I want you to create. And just co cover that entire page as you're doing it. So now I have um, begun cutting out shapes. And like I said, I wanted a lot of raindrops. That was, I was inspired by the idea of rain. Um, it's been raining a lot here. Last night we had a big rainstorm and the music reminded me of it. Um, so I cut out these shapes and then I just felt inspired to create a profile of someone's face. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I tried my best to cut it out. And now I'm thinking I'm going to have the profile on this part of the page and the tears are going to be... And they're not necessarily sad tears. I think they might be happy tears. They're bright and colorful. Um, but this is where... I think I have not glued it down yet. But I'm assembling my shapes 
and with the paper that I cut out with all my patterns and bright colors and I'm going to glue it down and then finally I'm going to listen to the music again, so you can go back in this video and listen back to it. Um, and I'm going to, or you might find another song in, on your own playlist at home that you feel like inspires your piece of art, and that's fine too. And then I'm gonna write a story about my piece of art and what I think is happening in my piece. And I'm gonna pretend as if I'm the illustrator illustrating my own book and creating the words and the music that's going to go down on my page. So I want you to try to do that too. So glue your piece down, cut it out, glue it down, listen to some music that inspires it, and create your own story for your piece of art. And share your story with a family member. <laughs> 